Hello, I'm Dr. Jonathan Amsbecker. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon and I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about some of the differences between Botox and Juvederm and explain a little more what Juvederm or facial fillers and Voluma really are and how they work. And so I get a lot of questions from folks that, you know, I have some signs of facial aging and I'd like to do something that won't have a lot of downtime and can help get me back a little bit sooner and help really treat these wrinkles and help get rid of some of the signs of facial aging. And so the most common product that we have nowadays is something called Juvederm, which is a hyaluronic acid. And what a hyaluronic acid is, is it's kind of a basic simple way of thinking about a sugar that our body naturally makes and stores in between cells to attract water and volume and help prevent and fill wrinkles. And what they've done is they've created a product and cross-linked it where that it doesn't break down as fast. And so we can put it into an area where you have a wrinkle and help fill in that wrinkle. And it will stay for a year to two years, maybe even longer in some cases. And they're uh, safe products. They're very highly tested and used and dosed millions of times throughout the world. And we find that they give a very nice, natural way to rejuvenate the face. And so it's something that we can do over a lunch period. In many cases, it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to inject an area. The areas that we classically think of treating are the things that are wrinkles at rest. And so the nasal labial folds, the corners of the mouth, and that's what we use Juvederm for. There's a sister product that's even longer lasting that we use in some deeper areas to treat one of the other signs of facial aging. And that's when you have volume loss in the mid cheek and descent of the cheek. And we use it to inject in Voluma in these areas to help restore the cone of youth or the youthful uh, egg shape to the cheeks and so these give folks that nice youthful look when you look at a young person they don't have the wrinkles here and at the corners of the mouth and we can fill around the lips to give a little more subtle uh, volume to the lips as well and so these are where we classically think of treating with these products um, they're very safe there's risk and benefits with everything but the most common thing is folks can have a little bruising after the procedure and when you come in in person we can talk to you more about the usual safety profile and things that we think of with the procedure um, also, if you go to our website, you can see examples of the products um, before and after pictures and read more of the safety information with it. And we also have videos that talk about it as well. And here, if you'll take a look at one of the pictures, there's a patient that we had, a lady that's in her 60s. She had some of the classical signs of aging. If you look at the corners of the mouth, she has wrinkles um, and lines. And you can see that these are areas that, you know, you see the age in a person's face. And she has what's classic, which shows there's a little difference or asymmetry from one side of the face to the other. And so when you look at these, these are things that give away age. And so here I'll show you a picture of her afterwards. And here you can see the difference. Uh, we filled in around the corners of the mouth. Um, she liked that so well. This is a picture about 17 months out that she actually decided to have a little bit of filling with the lips. You can see we've augmented a little volume there. And we've augmented up in the cheeks as well to kind of decrease a little of the cheek wrinkles and help uh, give a more youthful shape to the face. And so it's a very successful procedure and I think it's a very nice easy way to reduce signs of aging with minimal downtime in a procedure that can be done in the office over a period of 15 to 30 minutes.